What's up, Clarity Coders? Today I got a little impromptu video. I don't usually do videos on Saturday, but I'm gonna throw this out here. I'm a big Reddit fan, as I'm sure a lot of you are. I'm gonna show you today how you can scrape Reddit and make graphs like this, all kinds of crazy stuff that'll get you all kinds of karma in this video. Let's jump right in. Today I'm going to be using DeepNote. DeepNote is an online Jupyter notebook of sorts that already has a lot of AI and data science libraries already installed so you don't have to mess with that. And you can leave your notebooks running if you sign up and do different things all free. You can leave your notebook running for an entire month and it'll just do stuff in the background. So that's what we're going to do today. So here's my notebook. It'll be available below as well. All I did was I if you look at this scrape sub notebook here, I installed Pra, which is just the Python uh, API. And then I installed another PSAW, which allows us to query based on dates and different things like that. Pra library will only give you 1000 results back. I wanted more than that. So what I wanted to do is take Wall Street Bets, which has all kinds of craziness going on right now. I wanted to look at the amount of comments certain tickers have had like GameStop, AMC, and different things like that and see how that correlated with the stock price. So what I did was I installed these two libraries. I imported them twice here actually. We don't need this one. We'll go ahead and delete that cell. So the only thing in cute I did down here in my search is I started with a start date. So I start from January 1st and then I'm searching for AMC, which is American Entertainment Holdings, I believe. And then I searched the subreddit Wall Street Bets. Then down below, I loop through that. And every 10,000 results, I print out something just to know that it's still running as it fetches my data. Then I just check the length of my cache. So this is where I stored all my data items inside of. And then I created a function, which I can pass in my data and the file name that I want to save it as. So in this case, I would have wanted to save this as AMC and I'm going to pass in all my cache data and it's going to write me a nice CSV file. All I chose to save was the cleaned up comment. So that is the alphanumeric of whatever they wrote. They, they write a crazy amount of like rocket ships and all kinds of things in the subreddit. So I cleaned all that up. Then I saved in the next column the month, the following column the day, the year, and the hour. And that created my CSV. That was pretty much it. So then if you look at this other notebook that I have here, I take whatever CSV I had before and I'm going to group the comments because if you look at the raw CSV, you can see that each individual comment is a line and then with the month and the date. I want to see how many times someone referenced AMC on each day. So what I did is I did a messages per day. I imported CSV. I grabbed my CSV file. I grabbed out each row into a list and then I used a dictionary to group those based on day and each time if the day existed I added one to my counter so for every message on a day that references AMC I added a value to that dictionary line item and then I wrote that to a CSV afterwards so if I run all these you can just do shift enter and this looks this runs just like a Jupyter notebook you just have to you just don't have to run it on your local PC. You can leave it running overnight and let uh, Deep Notebook pay for, the, pay for the CPU power there. So after you're done with that, you can run through. You'll see you get a per day AMC. And now you can see on the first, they had nine messages. On the second, they had two. On the third, they had two, so on and so forth. And you can kind of see how that progresses. Now, once I grabbed that, I used this uh, Flourish website. So all it does, it lets you import your data. So what I did, if I flipped over to the data tab here, you can see you can add all different types of data to it to make your chart however you want. I just did this through uh, Excel. I reformatted it a little bit, um, but we already had a, all the heavy lifting done through Python. And if you look, I posted this line chart already to Reddit. Hopefully it's doing good. The data is beautiful. This one, I don't know if I posted yet. This is how many message per day for each stock. You can see I got GME, Tesla, Nokia, and AMC. 
And then this is one that I thought was really cool. So this one I show with the blue line, the stock price of GMC. So if you hover over it, you can see how it kind of progressed. That is this Y axis over here. And then the Y axis on the left side is how many comments, the bars, how many comments per day uh, reference GME, GameStop. So you can see here that as this progresses, we get more and more comments. It's been crazy if you've been following along on Reddit. And that is correlated a lot with the stock price, this push up. So if you want to create more stuff like this with Python, cool stuff, we do it all the time. Go ahead and sub up if you haven't. And until next time, keep coding.